Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. So I am standing here next to what will be my tunnel. So this tunnel is going to connect this side of the island or this side of the uh, city over into the tunnel that I created a few episodes ago that went from the police station to the police station. So I thought I'm going to have another quick, quick tunnel here so you don't have to go over the hill because... You haven't had to do it, but going up and down, over and around those hills takes forever. If I could just go straight through, that'll save a lot of time and make it a lot easier. So we are going to uh, work on that today. So I'm going to, uh, oops, you don't want to see my butt. You don't want to see my butt at all. There we go. Let's do, there, there, there you go. Now you can see it from my perspective. I'm trying to get my, get my perspective in there. So like I was saying, I'm just going to, uh, we're going to work on, oh, well, we're not going to do that. I'm going to need to dig this tunnel out. Uh, I've measured it out. So if I go this way, straight, I should run into the other tunnel. So I just need to carve out a space. So it's going to be, what, a one, four. So about one, two, three, four, five. So five wide. And probably one, two, three, four. So maybe I guess it'd be a five by five. So I'd carve out this whole five by five and then I'll figure out how I am going to uh, design it and decorate it. So, but first I just need to get a tunnel built. So what I'm gonna do is hop into a time lapse where you can see me digging really quickly through here. And then we'll see, uh, you know, what kind of inspiration I get and what kind of build we're going to build. Because I may, well, I may actually keep it the same style as the other one since they are connected tunnels. But I, I think I'll run a different color down this lane. So, so even though it'll be the same style as the other one with the, you know, the little pillars and the stuff on the walls, Maybe I'll run a different color of floor down the middle so it's easy to recognize which tunnel you're in. So if you're in the one without the color, you know you're going from police station to police station. And if you're in this one, it'll have a strip of color on there, probably green or something, which means you're going over to this, uh, this side of the city. Oh, good. I can dig this out with my, my uh, diamond shovel. I had to make, I don't, my, uh, I've got a couple diamond shovels and the one that's silk touch is the one I use for gravel because this other one's like uh, efficiency four, which means when you uh, shovel gravel, all you're going to get is a flint and flint is uh, essentially worthless. I mean, you can make flint and steel and that's it. You can't, well, I guess you can make what a fletching table but that doesn't do crap i mean doesn't have an interface doesn't have anything it's just enough different different designed block you can stick in your house and pretend it's something else because they've not gotten around to actually giving it uh, some kind of function you know you should be able to you know a fletching table you should be able to build like super bows or crossbows or put arrows in there and you know make like create a splash potion and an arrow and put them together and you got that effect based from the arrow so you could put like poison arrows fire arrows you know that kind of stuff even healing arrows although that doesn't make sense because you're going to take damage when you get by the arrow but i guess it would be an arrow that didn't give you damage but buffed you up and gave you healing which actually would work if you're doing like a smp you have uh, playing on the server with your friends and you're doing like a wither fight. One guy could sit in the back and shoot, you know, buff arrows into the players as they're fighting the wither or the dragon or something. But see, the kind of stuff you could do, it wouldn't be that hard to put it all together either because they've already got the uh, all these special arrows and you've already got the potions and you've already got the block. All you need to do is make the interface and put the recipes in there and you would be done. 
But no, we have to do something else. I don't even know what we're doing now. We're making new oh, archaeology. I don't know what we're doing now. I think a new version's coming out. I'm behind on my versions, but that's techno technology technologically. I tried to upgrade to 120, but my frame rate is my frame rate's not good on it. Because I get good frame rate on this. I'm using Optifine. Optifine's not out on the under, at least my version. I, last time I checked, I didn't have Optifine. Optifine is what works best for me. I've tried the other ones. People can say, don't use this, use that, use the other one. I don't get any good frame rates with those. I Maybe I'm not setting them up right. Maybe I'm not doing it right. But I'm going, you know, from hundreds of frame rates to double digit frame rates or below. Well, you don't go below double digits. It's, I mean, you know, I'm below 60. So I go from 200, you know, in the same place, I'll be from 200 down to like 80 or 90. And that just doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it'd be nice to have some of those blocks in 120, but it doesn't make any sense to essentially downgrade my gameplay uh, just to upgrade to the next version. I, I don't know. I can always live with that. I'm usually behind on the versions anyhow because I want to make sure things don't break because they have broken things in the past and I've had to wait for a patch or uh, usually the they don't break. By, by the, you know, the version... The dot one version usually things are fixed. But I have noticed if you go to the dot zero version, like one point twenty, there'll be problems in it. But one point twenty dot one, usually those problems are fixed. So that's why I always kind of hang back and don't uh, don't rush out to get the new version. But I always do try it. So I'll try and run a new version on my server and see what happens and last time it was like uh last month i think i tried it and nope it was tanking i mean the frame rates were not enjoyable so i'm just going to have to work with uh, work with what i have and i don't know why they're so tanky it's you know i don't know why they stink so bad i mean there's nothing really that I can see. In I, other worlds, they seem fine. So I don't know if it's just this world that has the problem. So I may just be stuck on this world for, at a, you know, at an older version to see what's going on. It could, because this is a really old, uh, really old world. So maybe there's things hanging around it doesn't like. But I even went through and cleaned out the spawn and stuff. So I make sure I don't have a bunch of extra entities and stuff. And I don't know. What am I getting now? So I'm getting like 288. 200, yeah, two, about 280 on the frame rates. But then when I loaded up, I think it was 1. 1.121.4. One of the latest ones. Yeah, and it went from the 288 to 80. So I'm losing 200 FPS. And really, I don't know if I'll note. You know, really, I don't know if you notice that because that anything over sixty usually, you know, it's not like a first-person shooter where I'm running around trying to shoot people. I mean, usually that one, the higher the F, higher the frame rate, the better you can uh, sneak up and shoot people because you got a better reaction time, and they, you know, sometimes you'll see them before they see you and stuff, especially if they have a bad frame rate. So, which is kind of cheaty, I think. But anyhow. Um, with Minecraft, I'm not sure you'd make a difference, but I, you know, I'm not willing to just downgrade my performance just to be on the latest version. I mean, the only thing I really would like, I like the bamboo because I, I need more blocks to build with and stuff, but, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I really would like to, uh, try out and stuff. Luckily, I, I do have, you know. I think the Unorthoblox server, we're on the latest version. Well, closer latest, we're on 120. And we'll be going to the newest version for that. So eventually, one of these days, we'll be upgrading and moving on to the next version. 
So I get the I get the experience there. The frame rates aren't as good as they are here. Sometimes they're little. Sometimes I just do the plain vanilla without any of the optimizers, and it seems to work sometimes better than uh, putting the iris or sodium or whatever those things are on there to help optimize it. So I am going. I'm actually making pretty good headway through here, and I. Thought I was going into a time lapse, but uh, I've been rambling on. Of course, you probably fell asleep, so I'll be quiet so I don't wake you up. We're going to hop into a time lapse now, and then when I come back, I'll, uh, I'll wake you up, and we can look at the design we're going to use for this, uh, this tunnel. Well, that wasn't as far as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a lot farther. And we are much closer to this end than I thought. I thought it'd be more in the middle. But that's not bad. This takes us all the way over here. So for the road, I said I was going to do a different color. So my different color is going to be green. So I'm going to do these random bits of moss through here because I got a lot of green moss. It's distinctive, so you're going to know the colors there. There we go. And then the other f road had a mix of uh, brick, cobble, and stone, and andesite. So we have our you know, brick, cobble, andesite, and stone. So I'm replacing the stone with the brick, or not the brick, the uh, moss. Now I just need to figure out the best pattern for all this. And it is going to look a little different once I get this. This is all supposed to be a stone brick right there, so you don't have that double cobblestone look. Okay, so let me go through and just fill in the blanks here, and then we'll move on to the walls. So let's see what we've got. If I start, let's start over here. And have one of those. Just trying to remember the pattern here. So I've got my path down here. So we we know it goes out that way because it's green. I thought it was going to be a lot longer, kind of like this one. So you'd be a little more lost if you were in it. But I don't think you're going to have trouble getting lost. But I'm still going with a different colored pattern. So we'll do a T here. Right, yeah, one, two, three across. Oh, I wanted to start on the end. So I wonder why it looked a little different. So we have our, our T. So here. There. I went through and carved out blocks, but none of them are in the right spot, I realize. So I'm just going to work with it as it comes along. So we have that on the top, and then we do the repeat pattern. So that on the top, and then we'll do repeat pattern. Add like that. And then the light will go right in the middle there. And then up top, I can just fill that in with anything, and then we'll just do the roof out of wood, like 
that goes there. Like that? Yeah. starting to take shape looks pretty good final thing I have to do is put in the ceiling so I got a bunch of oak I think the other tunnel actually has a birch I'll have to look when I'm over there but for this one I'm doing oak so it's got the same I guess design but it's got a little bit of color differences I've got the green down below on the ground and the oak up here in the ceiling so essentially they look the same I mean with the columns and little these little gaps here we have the lanterns in here there I guess that goes, you can do the same thing over and over, but if you start mixing in different uh, colors, different blocks, uh, different textures, you're going to have a whole new thing. So that's what I did here. And then it looks like the same uh, civilization or the same people designed it and built it. They just didn't do a cut and paste of everything. So it's, oh, wow, I'm out of out of stairs already okay let me go uh, make some stairs and finish this up should finish it up yeah and I did have a birch over here and oak over there and I thought about swapping this out for something else but I think I think a nice solid piece of stone there actually works in my favor so now we have a, a gateway from one side of the mountain to the other and then we can go all the way down there and go through the police station to get out. Although I think, I think I am going to do one more tunnel uh, from here that way. I'll have to go out on the side of the mountain and find out, you know, where I'm going to go. So really, this won't be a public uh, entrance but I have another tunnel here going that way which will be more public because this is all a public tunnel right here but I think I'll do that later I'm going to call it a day for today uh, next up I think I'm going to go in oh I do need to charge my tools because I think this is the last pick I have it's not um, out of juice so I need to go back to spawn charge those up and then while I'm traveling in the nether i think i'm going to do that nether tunnel so we'll have the nether tunnel all uh taken care of 
But I want to thank you all for catching, you know, tuning in and watching and catching this episode. And I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.